You don't think I'm dumb yet, you gonna think I'm dumb now. So after all of this, I'm beat, I'm bruised. I go move back in with my mom. Don't you know me and my mama get in a fight? My mama kicks me out. And I mean, it was a blizzard. And I just remember her saying, take your baby and get out of here. <laughs> and I don't blame her. Now your girl gotta go to an abandoned homeless women's shelter. No support. A girl sitting at the abandoned women's shelter looking around at a bunch of other moms that done been abused. And I'm like, I gotta get out of here. Somehow my rebellious self gets in touch with my crazy baby dad and tells him to come pick me up. So we went to go move into his grandmother's house. We're still trying to kill each other, but I'm in this cycle of being told that I'll never find anyone else. I'm not good enough. I have to be with him. It's like a mi emotional abuse, physical abuse every single day. I'm uh, chilling one day and my baby dad had took my car because my mom did give me my car back. Bless her heart. Right now, my baby dad to get back from using my car. This Emmer Effer never comes back because you know why? He was just caught stealing video games from Walmart. So now I'm left. He's taken off to jail. I'm sitting 16 years old in an abandoned house house by myself with homeless people in the freaking basement with a newborn baby and I have absolutely nobody. Everybody's gone. So what is a girl to do now? Searching for love in all the wrong places. I get with drug dealers, all of these people. I don't know if it was like an identity crisis because I never knew my dad. I took my little self that was raised pretty decent, if I ask myself, and I stick myself in the most volatile, disgusting environment. I find this boyfriend that is convincing me every single day that he doesn't love me, that I'm not worth it, that he'll never be with me. He doesn't want to be a home wrecking guy and he didn't want to love me or my son. And I stuck with this guy for like two years until I finally just said, Lord, have mercy. I'm in an abandoned house. I have a crappy boyfriend. I have a crappy baby dad. I'm married. I'm stuck. Little did they tell you, whenever you emancipate yourself from your parents, now you become the child of your spouse. My freaking spouse is in jail, so I'm out here just wild and doing whatever I want. Like, literally, my life was just doing a spiral downhill. I left that boyfriend. Thank God I had this really, really good, solid friend in my life that told me, Brooke, you are worth so much more than this. Why are you letting this guy sit here, live in your house that you pay everything for, treat you like crap, tell you he doesn't even want to be your boyfriend? And literally she beat it into my head until I finally said, I don't no. And the last thing I remember is sitting in the car with her in her driveway and saying to her, listen, I don't know what is going to happen from here on out, but I do know that I am running as far away from these streets as I can and I am never looking back. 